YouTube. Morning. Friday. Raining. Grab your cup of Joe. Let's go. Oh, let's see, 53 degrees outside, raining, wonderful day, 62 in here, got the heaters going, trying to get a little of the dampness out before it attacks my joints, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. Just watched uh, Scott Hoosier Marshall's Submission to Freedom Friday. Great intro on that one, man. Kudos. Oh boy, my Freedom Friday is going to be delayed till later this uh, this evening because well, there's something in the works. Hopefully, it works, and then we'll have a good Freedom Friday. If not, we'll have a mediocre Freedom Friday. Uh. Finally remembered not to wear the red shirt until Friday. Because it is red freedom Friday. I don't have a flannel, and it's not flannel weather anymore. I went out last night. I went to dinner last night yeah but not by myself y'all remember miss julie she went to dinner with me you know we've uh We went our separate ways dating-wise, but we didn't go our separate ways being friends. So, you know, and I hadn't, the last time I had seen her in person was uh, uh, three, four months ago. She had had uh, Cadillac surgery and she couldn't drive and she needed a ride to to a doctor's appointment, so I, I obliged, and you know, we, we kind of regrouped then, and, and figured out what, what we both, we both wanted in life, and that, that's to be friends, and so we, we went to dinner, and it was a mighty fine steak I ate, I tell you that right now. Went to the Texas Roadhouse. My youngest baby boy gave me a gift card. For Christmas. So. And mostly we just communicated back. We communicate back and forth on Facebook and text message. You know, it's, we don't we don't get face to face very often. But I'm good with that. She's good with that because I'm working on becoming a, a recluse, a recluse, no recluse. Yes. I'm gonna be. I'm going to be that, that, that grouchy old man that yells, get off my lawn, turn that radio down, get a haircut, pull your pants up. That's me.
Oh, now that the, the heat's are coming. The nose is going to run. I'm not going to blow my nose. I'm just going to wipe the drips away. Got a package in the mail yesterday. Uh, this is it. Yeah. Uh, got my... Got my monthly coffee. This one is uh, this one is a French roast. Sumatra. G I L I N G. Basha, wow. B. Beeson. Uh, uh, A. Eula. <laughs> A. U. I. L. I. A. For the coffee maker. Has a sweet base flavors with earth toned inky body and bittersweet chocolate flavors. We'll crack that open, give it a whirl on Monday. What else is there? I think that's it. I think I'm covered what is covered. Oh, do y'all have Myers by y'all? I mean, they're, they're, they were always big up in Michigan that I, uh, that I noticed. And now they're coming to Ohio. They're like, they're a Walmart competitor. <laughs> Only better, better quality stuff. And a little more pricey, but better quality stuff. Sometimes I go grocery shopping there. Or sometimes I just go shopping. Like I went and went and bought two two new pairs of pants, and I swung through swung through by the deli, and uh, I appreciate them. I, I really I really appreciate Myers because they hire uh, special needs. They hired a young fellow that has Tourette's. And he likes to yell the F word. Different, different. Not something you really hear in public unless it's in a in the middle of an argument. So. Oh, <sighs> we get our groceries delivered, and I got back home in time last night from dinner. To be here when the grocery delivery dude showed up. And they send you a text. You know. 
your grocery order is completed. We will let you know when DoorDash picks it up and yada, yada, yada. Well, since I do the ordering, I get all the texts. So I got the text that Hassan has picked up your order. I'm good with that. Yeah. Some of the nicest people I know are from the Middle East. But anyways, he shows up and I'm sitting here and he gets he goes up to the door and I'm, you know. She says, you know, bring it into the kitchen. They always they always will bring it into the kitchen. And he looks at her and stands there and he takes out his phone and does something and hands it to my mother. I'm like, what is going on here? You know, we never had to sign before for groceries. And he mumbles something and now, remember mom, you know, she is the most tech savvy senior citizen in the world. So he finally gets it over gets it across to her to to say wh- where she wants the groceries into the phone. And then it would translate it to his language. So he could he knows what how did he get a driver's license if he don't if he can't understand uh, the language. I don't have a problem that he's from wherever he's from. I got a problem that he don't know the language. As me and my boys always say, when you hear these people out in public jabbering, you came to America, learn the language. That's all I'm saying. I might be wrong, but if I am, too bad. I'm wrong. Ugh. Piece of the envelope. Uh, oh, now I'm done. So, anyways, uh, Freedom Friday will be later. I do have a, a submission from my friend Dana in Missouri, Missouri, or as we always said, the state of misery. And we'll see what I got. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.